So I've come here to Paducah, the Paducah Art Alliance offered me an artist in residency, uh, the club together with the um, AQS and joined together to, to bring me here to actually um, work with the local school children and hopefully inspire them that you know, these career opportunities in art and it can be possible with a lot of hard work. Also to join a quilting community and um, show what I do with denim because the last few years um, a lot of the quilters have shown a lot of interest in my work but if you sit in a magazine or a newspaper or on TV it just doesn't come across. Um, so selfishly I wanted to use the opportunity to actually show that the work is three dimensional, textured and the reaction has been so different to how you see it from a magazine to, to real life. Uh, so it all started uh, about 12 years ago. Um, I'd just done a portrait of Tony Blair at a newspaper and I'd gone home for Easter and my mum had pulled out a big pile of jeans. They were all my jeans, I didn't want to throw them away, they didn't fit in me but I remembered all the memories of wearing them. So eventually I started putting them up and making portraits out of them, just kind of for, um, for fun. All the work is actually about community, like the fading shape of um, our urban environments. Uh, high streets are diminishing in the UK, outside London. I think the same is happening here. I mean, it's great in some ways that out-of-town centres happen because then it allows independent people to come in and like bring really good places in town centres and uh, a lot of the artist community regenerate places. But I find there's a lot of loneliness. You know, so I've done the laundrette. In England it was a place where a lot of people would only get their own conversation. And these places are closing down and we're living in this life where we're all on our phones. It's all about community. Uh, like we're standing in a record store now, that's often the place where a lot of like-minded people used to interact and talk. And yeah, you get that online, but it's not the same of meeting people. So I wanted to highlight these places, show the beauty in these like independent places and uh, show that they're actually fading. And you know, the biggest stores get and bigger chains get, like the people who work there don't care about them. They're, like no one is proud of their jobs anymore if they work in these places. Uh, whereas if you work for an independent place, you know the owners, you, you share in the success. The scenes that I did of the homes, like these perfect materialistic homes, was a flip side of that, showing that people are striving for these perfect homes. Um, you know, materialistic, it's a bit like, you know, spreads from old decoration in interior design magazines. And when you flip through these, you don't see people in them. So certain the people in there, they might have all these things. And I don't want to dictate what people think but a lot of people are imagining what these people are thinking and um, really connect with the person who's sat there and often people have said, well, that's me, that's me. And as an artist, that's the main thing you want to do is connect with people. Uh, so all my work is about community and the fading community, but strangely, um, I've actually come and shown it in a world where I found that Paducah, for one, has got a really amazing community. People have actually rallied around me and helped me and um, you know, I've never hardly spent a minute alone. And then coming into the quilting community, it's actually really amazing to, sh to see so many people, friends of each other, supportive, um, inspired by, by each other. Um. So I'm talking about this fading community. Yeah, I've just come and found this big, strong community where um, a lot of like-minded people come, happy to be here, um, really um, positive, um, friendly, um, willing to express what they feel and tell you that you know, they, they really like the work. So that's been actually really fantastic, so I'm really glad that they've welcomed me into this community. Um, so I've been aware that I'm not a quilter, I'm doing it differently. I was scared that people might say, oh, it's not quilting, I don't like that. So it's great that people like Ricky Timms as well and Hollis have come and you know, taken me under their wing and um, you know, really welcomed me. It's the, the big names in this industry and for them to come and uh, we have this mutual respect and you know, that's been really special for me.